1999, Boris Yeltsin handed then President Clinton a uh, small stack of documents, which were somewhat interesting. They basically um, split into a couple halves. Some were post-assassination reporting in which the Soviets were clearly worried that the assassination would be blamed on them. The other documents from the so-called Yeltsin documents, which are fascinating, were ones related to Lee Harvey Oswald's defections in late 1959, his defection. And, um, you know, they're basically the, the paperwork around handling whether or not we're going to let this guy in the Soviet Union, what status we should give him, and so on and so forth. And um, they're unremarkable except for the level at which they reached in the Soviet Union. Uh, some of them were signed by the number two person in the Soviet Union under Khrushchev, uh, Andrew Gromyko. And uh, so he clearly didn't just slip into the country. And they were, there was clearly uh, questions within the Soviet government about whether Oswald was a sent agent or not. Um, and questions that they apparently never resolved themselves.